What's up you guys it's Deepoy and today we will be creating this vertical panel collage effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours let's get started. So this is the image to which we will be giving a vertical panel collage effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial, then you already know the drill. Links in the description below. So the first step we will be starting with is by creating a vertical panel. So for that select rectangle tool and then click on the fill icon and then select any color of your choice. Anyways, we are going to remove it later on. So I'm setting the color as magenta at the moment and then let me just minimize it. After that, you can click on the stroke icon. And then set the stroke as no stroke and then let me just minimize it and then click on the document and then create the rectangle of the size as follows width as around 450 pixels height as around 2350 pixels and then click on ok so now once you have created that vertical strip now the next thing we need to do is add some drop shadow from that vertical strip so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as drop shadow now in the pop-up you need to set the blend mode as multiply Click on the color icon and then set the color as black and then you can click on OK. After that set the opacity to around 75%. Make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as 0 degree. Set distance to around 15 pixels. Spread as 0% and then set the size as 50 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before. And now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is add a white border around the edges of the rectangle. So for that select the option as stroke. And then you need to set the size of the stroke to around 20 pixels. Position as inside. Blend mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. And then set the fill type as color. And then click on the color icon. And then set the color as white. And then you can click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke. So this was the before. And now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our vertical panel is ready. Now the next thing we need to do is rename this layer as initial. And then we will use this layer in order to create duplicates of this vertical panel. Now the next step is on the same line. That is we need to create duplicate of this vertical panel. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then select move tool. And then using move tool we need to place this panel at the starting point of the subject so let me just do that. So now this place looks perfect Now after that we need to rotate this panel a little bit so for that we need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then you can rotate this panel accordingly. So as you can see I have just tilted this panel a little bit now once it looks proper after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now we need to fill the colored portion of the panel with that of our image so for that make the background layer active by clicking on it and then we need to create a duplicate of this image so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to drag the duplicate image at the top and then we only need to keep the portion of the image which is covered by the rectangle and then hide the rest of the image so for that right click on the layer and then select the option as create clipping mask. So now as you can see now it is looking more proper now if you want to adjust this vertical panel a little bit then all you need to do is make that shape layer active by clicking on it and then using move tool you can place this vertical panel accordingly. So yeah now that place is looking perfect so like this way we need to create multiple vertical panels so for that again make the initial layer active by clicking on it and then we again need to create a duplicate of this layer so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j. And then using move tool you can place it accordingly. After that you can rotate it as well so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then you can rotate it as follows. So once it looks proper after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. And then we need to fill this colored portion with that of our image so for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to create a duplicate of it so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j. And then we need to drag this image above the shape layer we have just created which was initial copy 2 so let me just do that. 
and then we need to clip this image only onto the rectangle which is below it so for that let me just show you a shortcut so for that press alt or options on mac and then hover between the two layers so as you can see as you hover between the two layers your icon of the mouse changes so as your icon changes you can click over there in order to clip this image so like this way you can repeat the same steps and fill up the whole image so let me just do that So now as you can see now we have tried to cover the whole subject now the next thing we need to do is hide this initial layer and the background layer so for that go at the bottom and then hide the initial layer by clicking on the eye icon and then hide the background layer by clicking on the eye icon as well so now as you can see now the only thing which is remaining is our vertical panel collage and we need to place this thing at the center of our document so for that make the first shape layer active by clicking on it and then we need to go at the top and then press shift and then make the top layer active by clicking on it which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between after that we need to press ctrl or command on mac plus g which will combine all the selected layers into a single group so now as you can see now this group combines of this vertical panel collage now in order to place this vertical panel collage at the center of the document all you need to do is press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the group layer active and then select move tool and then click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers so now as you can see now our vertical panel collage has been placed at the center of the document now the next thing we need to do is fill this image with that of a nice background so for that make the initial layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as gradient now in the pop up you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you a new pop up in order to select the gradient now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows ff c5 cb and then click on ok and then you can click on ok and then set the style as radial angle as 90 degree and then set the scale as around 180 percent and then make sure your reverse option is not checked after that you can click on ok so now as you can see now it is looking so good so yeah that's it guys that's the final image now if you guys like this short video on how to create this vertical panel collage effect in photoshop then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye